Hi, it's Jessie from Peach Manifesto, and welcome to another Madam Glam video. So these swatches that I'm showing are from the House of Life collection. This is Taurus Season, which is a lovely coral. Um, it definitely looks a little bit more orange on camera, um, but it does have more of a coral hue in person. And that was a stunning, wonderful one coat coverage. Now we have Spirit Guide, which is more of like a cooler toned pink. I did a, end up doing two coats with this. Um, I just kept having a little fluff um, on this swatch and I think it did make it a little patchy so I just went in with that um, second coat just to make sure that it was evened out I feel like on camera you can't really see it's that bad but I could see a little bit of shadowing so I just went in with a another coat just a thin coat just to kind of touch up that shadowing and it is so stunning Next up, I have the Healing Glam, and this is a really pretty purple, and I feel like I'm always attracted to exactly the shade of purple because I do have a couple colors in my collection that are almost exactly this shade, but none of them apply as nicely as that one. That was a stunning one coat. So now we have a Guardian Angel, which is a lovely like pastel blue, and definitely I don't have anything, um, especially in Madame Glam, this light of a blue. I thought it was really lovely. I did go in with two coats. Sometimes I find with pastels, it's always a good idea to do two coats um, just because there's always that extra potential of shadowing. Um, but with two coats, it was stunning. I top coated them all with Madame Glam No Wipe Top Coat and here they are all together. I really wanted to do a tutorial featuring all of the colors and I thought, how could I do that and keep in the spirit of the collection because it's the house of life. So I really wanted to do something flowy and marbly. I know I've done videos of this in the past, but I wanted to try um, this because I felt like these colors necessarily didn't all go together but like how could I make them go together so what I did is I did put a layer of top coat uncured on this swatch stick before I went in and then I'm using the Madame Glam ombre brush and I'm just kind of wiggling making layers I'm trying to make it look very flowy very natural and then I uh, fill in some spots I leave some spots a little bit more open um, just so the colors can kind of bleed into there and soften um, and then I just try and go in and if I see that there's um I'm not seeing as much of one color. Um, I try and just tap it in. So that's kind of what you're seeing here. And then on the tip, I did find I had a little bit um, too much product. So I do go in and take a little bit off of there and then just feather off the sides and even up around the cuticle, which is exactly what you would do with a client. And I really thought that this was super, super pretty. And as you can see, I'm I'm touching it up even more, taking a little bit more off the tip, and um, I just am really happy with this. And then I decided um, for top coats, I knew I wanted to go matte because I knew it would show it better, but I also wanted to have some iridescent glitter, so I went in with Madame Glam's uh, Funfetti, and with these kind of like glittery ones i do tend to spend a lot of time like pushing the glitter around exactly where i want it and just kind of getting everything exactly right and then of course you have to make sure that the top coat is level so there was a lot of that um i did go with a matte top coat on top of this now i will give you a tip um it's a good idea to buff it um, because it's shiny and then go with the matte as you can see there is a couple little spots where you see a little bit of the shiny poke through and that definitely would have been avoided if I'd buffed it before I went in with the matte top coat but this is the design I really hope you like it thanks so much for watching please like and subscribe and we will see you all later bye bye